Yo, yeah. what up? Welcome back to the video, guys. Today's gonna be the first initial ride with the front ledger suspension, which we uh, recently installed on the bike. First time on the bike, actually having some real riding time. Um, been out on the bike today for about an hour right now, and I'm loving it. It's it's like day and night, man. I was supposed to uh, come out with this video sooner, but I've been crazy busy and the weather has been super shitty non-stop raining non-stop little snow here and there and 20 and 30 degree weather it's not that fun but we were blessed today with 60 degree weather in early march in jersey so thank you thank you thank you i've been on the bike for the past hour or so and um I love the feeling, man. It's it's day and night. Um, I've been trying to go over some bumps on the road, and it uh, it absorbs everything pretty good. Um, I thought it would be absorbing everything a bit much more, but I mean, the, the, these uh, the suspension is not for that. It's not for like super comfort, you know, air suspension type of feel. What I have noticed is that I do have a, a nice stiff feel, especially uh, going into corners. Um, when we're applying those brakes as well, like the, the bike is not really diving in like it was before. So that's a huge plus. It is absorbing all the bumps a lot better. Um, if you're looking for a super, super comfortable ride, like I said before, it, this is not like a premium air suspension ride where it absorbs everything that's that's not where you're gonna be uh looking for when you get these type of suspension but the ride quality is a lot better let's uh let's get out of here because there's a ton of traffic going this way to the bridge let's divert from all this traffic better we'll turn around there's no traffic uh headed back the other way uh I'm, I'm definitely enjoying my day baby blue skies partly cloudy beautiful what can you ask for 60 degree weather on the east coast and it's only march 3rd come on come on If you're gonna get in, get in. This bike feels amazing. <laughs> you know when uh, when you go uh, and you spend some time off your bike and you get back on it and you're like, damn, this bike, it just feels good. It, it feels like a beast. It really does. Especially now with this, uh, with this huge improvement with the uh, ledge suspension in the front. I'm really, really happy. I'm a little upset that I didn't do my suspension earlier on, but whatever. We got it on now and uh, we can enjoy it now. Ready, perfect, just in time for the riding season, if you may say. Yeah, so the, the bike is uh, nice and dialed in, ready to ride now, man. One thing I really like about the uh, the Legend suspension is that it kind of really cleaned up this whole front area right here. So you had that, that flat surface silver tops before on the uh, stock suspension and it looked horrible. The contrast against the black with the uh, the RLNS triple tree that I got on here. But now that everything's blacked out, you got the Legends logo right there. It just looks super, it looks nice, it looks premium. It looks good. One thing that this bike has is a lot of pep. So whenever you wanna weave in and out of traffic, it's 
perfect for that. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me, well, why didn't I go with Olin's for my front cartridges? Being that I have Olin's and uh, the Screaming Eagle suspension in the rear. Um, I don't know. I, I thought Legends, I, I think Legend makes a great product, guys. It is what it is. And no, the suspension was not given to me. I bought it with my hard-earned cash. Um, but Legends does make a great product. I, I like the product they make. Um, is Olin's above Legends? Is it better? Yeah, probably. I mean, when you think about the top of the top, you think about Olin's. Uh, it's the most premium brand. But the Legends are a great product. And most of all, they're a little bit more cost effective. So if you're looking to do the suspension upgrade on your bike and you're looking for more performance, this is it right here, man. Like it's, you, it's, it's not that bad for the price. I think with the uh, Olin's, you were probably going to pay... I don't know, a few hundred dollars more, maybe two or three hundred dollars more, but I mean, it, it, it adds up. I am, uh, I can say that I'm, I'm more than happy with the feel that I'm getting from, from this little ride right now as well. Kind of want to really test it and go on a really long ride soon and really put it to the test. But uh, so far, pretty good. All these little bumps and grooves on the way kind of absorb that nice and stiff when you're going into the corners the bike is not diving in like crazy with the uh, stock suspension how it was doing before uh, it just feels more stable the bike definitely feels more stable <laughs> Feels great. Uh, and to think that uh, I spent the whole week trying to come up with some ideas on how to sell this bike. <laughs> Literally, I spent the whole week. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time to get rid of the bike. Maybe it's time to start a new project. It's been three years with it and pretty much got it to where I kind of want it to be. Well, not there yet, but you know what? That, 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 that just, whatever. Let, let's leave that for another video. That, that should be its own video. I might post that up later on this week. But anyways, back to the suspension. I'm happy. I'm super, super happy. I wish I would have done it earlier. If you are in the market and you're looking to upgrade your bike with new parts, Go with suspension first. I mean, obviously you first want to get an exhaust, get your bike something really nice. Um, but suspension should be one of the first things you should do on your bike. So, so important. We all think about um, horsepower and torque and all this engine work that we put into these bikes, but people tend to forget about suspension and brakes. And, and when you talk about performance, suspension, goes a long way there's no point of having a super fast bike if your if your bike is not going to be able to handle it the way it should you know what I mean so suspension should be one of the first things you should upgrade on your bike that's gonna be it just gonna uh, want to give you guys a nice little chat give you guys an update on what's going on with the bike and I'm super happy for this and I'm super happy and grateful for this warm weather this week we're heading out to Daytona. This video should be up Monday. Right now it's Sunday, so this video should be up tomorrow. I'm heading down to Daytona Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, no, I'm not riding down there. I couldn't get enough days away from work, and I got a lot of things going on uh, this week at home, and I got a bunch of stuff going on, which I'll, I'll, I'll share and disclose later on. So I couldn't go to Daytona for a long time, but I'll be down there for two days. I'm flying down there. I'm going to be riding some cool bikes down there. So wait for that content. We're going to be riding some cool Harleys. You guys already know. We already got the hookup down there. So I will see you guys in Daytona. So if you are interested in seeing some Daytona content. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel. 
what are you doing? Go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.